Last year, I introduced the Amazon Renewed series of videos. If you haven't seen those, I'll leave a link in the description and in the end screens. And you seem to really like it. And one of the phones that I covered was really popular in the series and in the comments section, how much you guys and gals love the Galaxy Note 9. Now, it's interesting because uh, this was a good phone when it came out, that's fine, but it seems like ever since this phone came out, people fall more and more in love with it, which I thought was kind of strange. But it looks like even Samsung's giving a little love to this older phone. I guess I'll have to tell you all about it. Right after this! This, this is, uh, you know you listening to, to Travis. What up, players? Welcome back. And for all you new people, welcome. My name's Travis, and I do tech videos every single week and have a blast doing them. If that sounds like fun to you, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Anything I talk about will be in the description below, but for now, let's just get into the video. Now that Amazon Renewed is back and I'm doing more of these reviews, you may want to make sure you hit that subscribe button. I see a lot of you watching this aren't subscribed. What's wrong with you? You're in trouble. Go sit in the corner until you hit subscribe. But the Galaxy Note 9 came out just a couple of years ago. Let's go over the specs in case you have forgotten about what is actually a darn good phone. I had to re-get this from Amazon Renewed. And I'll leave a link in the description below if you wanna pick one up, including the seller I got it from. That's always the question that people have is after I do these reviews, which seller did you get it from? But maybe you're not familiar with Amazon Renewed. Let me explain to you what it is. Amazon Renewed is a program by Amazon designed to help third-party sellers resell old phones. In this particular case, the Galaxy Note 9, but in renewed condition. What does that mean? Well, it's got to still look new, as this one does. I don't see any nicks, abrasions, or anything. It's in absolutely perfect condition. The battery life's capacity must have at least 80%, and it's just basically got to come with a charger, and that's about it. I mean, it just you just save tremendous amounts of money, even on last year's flagships. If, again, you look at the channel, you'll see some phones from only a year ago that are actually pretty expensive. But the thing that makes Amazon Renewed so interesting is that it gives you an opportunity to buy something and have 90 days to return it if you don't like it. 90 days, which is more than what you get if you try to buy a phone new. Sometimes you get 14 days. If you're really lucky, you get 30, but never 90. And in the meantime, since I've done this series, apparently it's gotten even more successful because now Amazon is selling these phones directly. When I first started this series, only third-party sellers were allowed to sell these. Now Amazon does. And here's what's interesting. While they are charging more, sometimes upwards of $100 more, they're giving you a year to return it. I'm going to say that one more time. You buy an Amazon Renewed uh, phone, if you don't like it, you have a year to return it. And that's one of the reasons why this series is so popular because of the flexibility. Most people are scared to get reused or renewed phones, uh, but with the term policy, it's pretty darn good. But let's talk about the Galaxy Note 9 specifically. Galaxy Note 9 was released in 2018. It has Gorilla Glass 5, an IP68 rating, Super AMOLED display at 6.4 inches. Remember when a 6.4 inch screen was large? Like, that seems small now, even though the phone itself is large. It's only a 6.4 inch screen, but we'll talk about the screen here in a little bit. Snapdragon 845, 128 gigs of storage, six gigs of RAM, an eight megapixel selfie cam with a 12 megapixel main and 12 megapixel telephoto lens and a headphone jack. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why some of you are here. Headphone jack. Of course, the S Pen fingerprint scanners on the back and a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. Now, what's interesting about this is the screen is super clear and clean. Of course, you got that super AMOLED display, but what's really interesting about this is what Samsung is doing support wise for this phone because it is from 2018. And they, back in the day, were only supporting phones for an OS update for about a year or so. But they've done something special here. Before I get into that, I want to tell you about this display. I love the fact that it's uninterrupted. Sure, it has a, a forehead, if you want to call it that, uh, and a slight chin, but the display is uninterrupted. And for me, that is a win. That's one of the things that I don't like about some of the newer phones, that there's like a punch hole or a notch or whatever. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I like uninterrupted. Even if you give me a little bit of forehead up there, I'm fine with it. It looks good, baby. And of course, this thing supports wireless charging, not reverse wireless charging. It does also support 4G, 4G LTE, not 5G. But again, not a big deal because if you are using 5G right now, you'll know that it's not that big of a deal. The screen is slightly curved. If people don't like that, you want to keep that in mind. The S Pen is still awesome. Love it to death. Still one of my favorite things to do is to take out, leave a note, put it back in, and continue like a boss. It also has Samsung Pay with still MST. I need to talk about MST, how they removed it with the Samsung S21 series of phones. I have a whole video I'm gonna do about that. Make sure you hit subscribe because I'm about to go in on that. And the Bixby button. Of course, we're not super big fans of the Bixby button, but you know, I mean, this is where the Bixby button kind of started, so you know, it's there. And I think you can remap it with some different softwares and apps. So. 
you know, it's not the end of the world. It's not too bad. Power button is super high on the right hand side, so you got to watch for that. Um, I don't know. I, 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 I'm kind of okay with it. I have a bigger hand, so it works for me. It just absolutely slips right into my hand. I can hit the power button super easy. And the Snapdragon 845 is a fast enough processor. I've been talking about this for a while, and the fact is with most apps, they still kind of run the same speed even on a processor as old as this, it's, you just don't see a difference. For the most part, the processor upgrades are having to do with like 5G and some of the camera quality. Let's talk about camera quality real quick. And it's fine. Listen, when this thing came out, it was great and it's still really good, whether it be pictures or video or selfies or what, it doesn't matter. Like your picture taking is gonna be great. And as a secondary phone or even a primary phone for travel or something like that, this is actually a great choice. And the battery life does easily last all day. You might get two days if you're being conservative, turn down the uh, brightness and such. I think you're gonna be okay. But what's really compelling about this and pretty much all Samsung phones is DeX. I've been talking about DeX for a long time. I love DeX. The functionality is amazing. You plug it in, you basically get a desktop. But something came out this past year that made DeX even cooler. And that is wireless DeX. Starting with the S20 series of phones, they came out with wireless DeX and all was cool. Unless you had an older phone, until recently. Wireless DeX is on the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. I'm floored. They somehow, in some reason, I have no idea why they did this, supported one of their newer features on a way older phone. Amazing win for Samsung Galaxy Note 9 users. That's incredible. And by the way, I did a video about how desktop mode on different phones, including DeX, pretty much can replace your desktop. I'll leave a link in the description below in the end screen. You need to watch that because if you get a phone like this with the DeX or any type of desktop mode, you'd be amazed at what you can accomplish. So for me, the value is there and this phone is absolutely great for 2021. I know it seems kind of weird to say that. You have your always on display. Your, your headphone jack, some of you still need a headphone jack. I mean, this is the last and latest phone that really you can get from Samsung that has a headphone jack. The S10 didn't come with one. So, I mean, this is it. Uh, if you want something that was a flagship once upon a time. And in my mind, this is one of those no nonsense phones, which is why I think people liked it so much and still like it to this day. Sure, it doesn't have the fastest processor anymore. Can't hit 5G. Doesn't have the in-screen fingerprint sensor and all the other things, but man, it's still a great phone, performs well, and just gets the job done. And again, every app that you have now will work on this. Cloud streaming will work on this. I mean, what more do you need? Really, when you look at this versus some of the newer phones, yeah, the newer ones are more powerful, but they're substantially more expensive than you can get a used Note 9 for. I struggle to think of what other kind of features this is really missing out on that you would care about. 5G, I mean, maybe. Some of the new camera features like 30X zoom. I mean, unless you're a creeper, you don't really need that all the time. I don't know, this just seemed like a great deal. Again, whether it be for you or someone else or a secondary phone, or maybe you have a really old phone and you just wanna replace it. Heck, maybe you have a Note 9, it broke, and now you want another one. Uh, listen, I, I think it's a great deal. But what do you think? The Samsung Galaxy Note 9 in the Amazon Renewed series is definitely still a win from me, even in 2021. I still say I absolutely recommend this if you can get it for a good deal. Links in the description below, again, with the seller of this who gave me an absolutely perfect Note 9. Like, it's just in pristine condition. So go ahead and check the link down in the description below. And I have some videos here for you. Make sure you check those out as well. I'll see you next time. Peace and love.